Whenever I teach on heaven or the resurrection, a question that people almost inevitably ask is, can you sin in heaven? And this is a tricky question, because if you say no, it seems that we lose something intrinsic to being human, which is our free will. If you say yes, then it seems to apply if we sin, the penalty of sin is death, we could get kicked out of heaven. So which is it? Well, one answer is to say that many theologians take is that we lose our free will in heaven. That the free will we once had is gone since we get to heaven. That's plausible. That's a possibility worth exploring. I don't personally buy it, but that's one way that theologians will make sense of it. Another way, which I find at least a little bit more compelling, is that when we get to heaven, we can logically sin, but we become fully aware of the depth and the nature of sin, that its influence and its tug over us is completely gone. So right now, we see through a glass darkly. So we're kind of affected by our sin nature in the world that we live in. It's easy to justify sin. But there are certain things that are black and white. Look, I'm a dad. I have a three-year-old son. There is zero temptation inside of me to take my three-year-old son atop a freeway, drop him, and see if he would bounce. I mean, if you hear that happening, it 100% was not me. There's no temptation for that. But other things I can feel tempted to do because I'm human. Well, I think when we get to heaven, number one, there's no external temptation. Nobody pressuring us anymore. Second, we have full awareness of the nature of sin. And then also on top of that, our natures have been completely transformed by Christ. So although you might say it's logically possible that we can sin, because so much is transformed and we have an awareness and remembrance of the cost and penalty of sin, it's guaranteed that we won't sin anymore.